Okay, here's another editing tutorial, and it's really quick and easy. And the reason we're doing it is because this is one of those common objects that, if you're not familiar with, can just drive you crazy. It drove me crazy for like the longest time. So I figured I better point it out because I was in need of making a silo years ago. And to make a silo is not quite so straightforward. Of course, I start with a nice cylinder like this in the scene. So I go into edit mode, and I have. I get the faces, which so normally I'd start with the face like that and go, well, okay, maybe I'll add a cone to the scene, right? And maybe I'll attach the cone to here. Or another way is you could start, you could start with a cone in the scene, like this. This is easy enough. And one of the ways you could just, and I want to look at the back side of it as well, so I can see all the way through. And with vertex select like that, I can press B like that and then do EZ like that and then I can grab this point and make my cone like that and that's one way that's reasonable so but sometimes what happens is you know maybe you have a different shaped object that's not quite the shape of a cone that you're starting with so in here if you start with this cylinder and grab the face like this notice there's no vertex in the center of the face in here that's just my point of my widget so I'm trying to move it up and down but there's nothing to do it so maybe what you can do is you can eliminate the face like that and maybe grab all these vertices here and maybe fill it with F and well that does it but you still don't have a point in the center so there's a way you could always just come in and you could use the knife tool I guess and you could press K and grab that point move it over here and grab that point press enter and then with just this line selected only then I could press W and subdivide it and then actually that would give me a point in the center like that of that but then let me see if I manipulate that up let's see what happens it's like well that's okay except it gives me these skewed I'll turn this off here gives me these kind of skewed shapes so it's not perfectly symmetrical so you'd have to add more points so that's not really practical so we just keep it simple and so the simple way is I wanted to have this face up here only then control B that I actually really want the edge so then where is this guy so there we go just by moving it then I can create my little silo effect and it gives me all the lines to the center it gives me the hole in the center I can put a vent if I want the whole nine yards all right all right well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson